Welcome to the stress reduction component of Eisenhower's Five Star Wellness Program. It's great to be part of this initiative working with an amazing group of colleagues who really care about the health of all of us. My name is Beth Mulligan. I've practiced medicine for over 25 years as a physician assistant. And I've also taught stress reduction programs right here at Eisenhower for the past six years. From the thousands of patients I've seen, as well as what I hear from my colleagues and my own life experience, I'm very aware of the great impact that stress has on our physical, mental, and emotional health. It's a challenge to cope with our own stress while trying to help our patients as well. Many of us know that we're stressed, but we don't always address it or know exactly where to turn to treat it. The good news is that there are very effective ways to cope with your stress that can improve your health and your life. I really hope you'll take advantage of the stress reduction program that Eisenhower is offering you. Fifteen years ago, I was introduced to the work of Dr. John Kabat-Zinn through a Bill Moyers PBS special called Healing and the Mind. Thirty years ago, Dr. Kabat-Zinn pioneered the treatment of stress by offering mindfulness, meditation, and yoga in a medical clinic at the University of Massachusetts Medical Center. Since then, I have been trained in his curriculum and have the great pleasure of offering it at hospitals and corporations in Southern California. We have 30 years of research, some funded by the NIH, documenting the great benefits of these practices on many aspects of health. My goal is to help you understand that stress isn't just a vague mental condition, though we use the term loosely a lot, but it's actually a specific physiologic state we enter into under certain conditions and that left untreated can cause or contribute to serious illness. If we receive a diagnosis of high blood pressure, we'll be told to take care of ourselves in certain ways, avoiding salt, exercising, losing weight. Similarly, if we have high blood sugar or cholesterol, there's certain things we're encouraged to do to take care of these conditions. Even though we don't routinely measure stress hormones, we know, and our doctors and our families sure know when we're stressed, we need to take care of our body's stress response also. How do we do that? Through the powerful tool of mindfulness. What you're going to discover in the stress reduction program is that by learning and consistently practicing simple meditative tools, you can significantly reduce the impact of stress on your life. We know from many studies that these practices literally lower stress hormones and blood pressure, decrease depression and anxiety, improve sleep and the immune system, and much more. Learning effective ways to cope with stress can help with other aspects of your wellness journey too. For example, if you want to lose weight or make any other change like quitting smoking, if you have new tools to use, you might be less likely to turn to food, alcohol, or a cigarette when stressed. As you can see, all the pillars of the Five Star Wellness Journey stand together to make us all strong and healthy. To begin your stress reduction program, I'd like to invite you to come to one of my introductory lectures and then come to the weekly Tools for Stress Reduction group to learn and practice mindfulness skills. And or you may view or listen to the following chapters online. To learn in Chapter 1 about stress physiology and our great survival mechanism, the fight or flight reaction. What actually happens when we get a surge of stress hormones. In Chapter 2, we'll explore how in the face of our modern-day stressors, this natural response can turn to illness, fatigue, and depression. Chapter 3 will look at how we can get stuck in a cycle of stress reactivity because sometimes what we turn to when stressed actually increases our problems. Chapter 4 will introduce you to the empowering practice of mindfulness and how to access the present moment more effectively where we can exercise choice and have more clarity. In Chapter 5, we'll practice a mindfulness meditation that you can use anywhere, anytime you feel stressed, and I'll take you through a new way to go through your busy day with less stress. There's a short meditation you can do at your desk as well, and on-the-spot yoga practice. Please know that in order to experience stress reduction, you have to practice, just like exercise and weight management. You can't just read about it. You have to do it. But once you experience the benefits of the practices, you won't want to stop. In order to attend the weekly tools group, you need to attend the introductory talk first or listen to all five online chapters. The Wellness Initiative really cares about your health. 
please allow me to help you understand the impact of stress in your life and then to help you with it. It's as simple as focusing on your next breath.